Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. So just a few days ago, I made a video in which I alerted the general public on the evil that was unfolding in Abuja, Nigeria, uh, regarding the forced vaccination bill, which was called the Control of Infectious Diseases Bill 2020. As I speak to you right now, it's actually in the news and you can check this out for yourself um, that particular evil draconian totalitarian bill has actually made its way to the senate and it has scaled first reading and you know what they did as soon as it got to the senate it took on a baptismal name and they now call it the national health emergency bill 2020 no longer control of infectious diseases bill 2020 it has scaled first reading and the second reading is slated for Tuesday next week for forced vaccination. And this is all happening at the same time that we are hearing from CUPP that $10 million was given to these guys in the House of Representatives as bribe to pass this bill immediately to like fast track, expedite the passage of the bill. The bill that will leave us as slaves in our own land forever. This is happening before our eyes. Because our people love money so much, it is so easy to buy them over, to destroy our people. Can you imagine this happening? Senator Otazi is the person who sponsored this wicked satanic bill. And just like they did with the House of Representatives, they did not provide anybody with a draft of the bill so they could study it. That's why Senator Kuramadu got up and said, where is the draft of the bill? I am sure nobody else has the draft of this bill. Shouldn't we have a draft and study it first before you begin to sponsor and let it go through all these readings? You already know what's going on, right? I've, I've already tried my best to help us understand what's going on. I've tried my best. The evil, the evil of the New World Order is on us now. George Orwell's totalitarian state is right here on us right now. This is what is happening. And I wonder where our pastors are. I wonder where our bishops are. I don't know what is going on. At this time when you are needed the most, you are not able to speak out. I don't know what in the world to say to you people. Do you guys even understand what is happening? Do they know that this is the end of all things? This is ground zero of all elements of totalitarianism. This is ground zero. The moment this bill is passed, we are finished as a people. Everyone should stand up against these people right now. You know, this was originally planned to happen while we were on lockdown. I carried you along, right? I told you very clearly, I said that the only thing that is going to give us a little breather was if Donald Trump continued with his plan to adopt the original data and dump the World Health Organization's predictive contagion model. I told you clearly that by that move alone, that a psychological liberation is going to ring out around the whole world. And it has happened. It is because of that that we are even experiencing the little lockdown relaxation that we are having today. Without that, you were still going to be on lockdown in Africa, in Nigeria especially. But they are too ashamed to continue to lock us down when every other person is relaxing the lockdown, especially Ghana. That's why they lifted it and relaxed it a little bit. All of this draconian bill that they are trying to pass was supposed to be imposed, enforced while you were on lockdown. But now that they have managed to relax it because they are too ashamed to keep us on lockdown, we must rise up and resist these evil people. 
Why would Bill Gates be so concerned about my health? Why does he want me to be so healthy? I don't want it. Allow me to be myself. Allow me to drink my Onubo bitter leaf water. Allow me to use my herbal stuff to cure myself. Allow me to be a Madagascan for once. They got a herbal medicine and they're curing what you call COVID-19. Why can't we do it ourselves? Why must I come under the needles of Bill Gates and the World Health Organization? Who gave them the right to dictate the course of my health? Where are my rights as a human being? Where? Africa is the cradle of civilization. We have all the herbs we can think of in the world. We are the home of organic living. Where is our organic herbs? Where are all the healings that God gave to us in roots and leaves and plants and backs of trees? Who are you? How dare you take away my rights from me because you want to impose your evil vaccines on me? I have rights. I'm a human being. You can't take them away. You can bribe all those guys in Abuja and give them one billion dollars if you care. If the masses will rise up, that's what I pray for every minute. If the masses will wake up and rise up and stand and band together, we will resist you and we will defeat you, whatever it takes because we know the implications of what you're trying to do. That's why I've been hearing in the last two, three days, I've been hearing it in my head. I was even about to make a video on it, but I can even include it here now. I've been hearing in my head, in my head, these evil people sitting around tables and discussing who will kill him for us. They want to kill Donald Trump because he is standing as a huge stumbling block to all their plans right now. Every other nation on earth has literally caved in. They control everything. I told you in my last video that they have already activated the new world order, one world government of the Antichrist. That is from where these satanic orders are dished out. They've got all the money, they've got all the power. They can make any nation to cave, except if God is on your side. They want somebody to kill Trump for them. If you are a Christian and you're watching me, go on your knees and pray. Pray like you've never done in your life. Fast, pray. And ask God to protect him. Because that guy is about the only beacon of hope, humanly speaking that we can point to right now in the midst of all this evil that's unfolding. I'm calling on you Nigerians, I'm calling on Africans wherever you are. This totalitarianism that you see creeping in and encroaching on Nigeria, it is going to go around everywhere. They're going to meet it out on all the countries in Africa. Mark my words, especially the ones who want to raise it. They're going to meet it out on them and they're going to force them to accept this evil. People are dying of hunger on daily basis. People are dying of hunger. This was why I took out the initiative to go and begin to send money to people all over. People had lost their jobs. Look at even Access Bank of Nigeria, sacking about 75% of their workforce, closing down about 300 and something branches without any preparation, no, just like that. Those people, are out of job coupled with all the hunger that we see all over the place bill gates and his people are not interested all they care is to bring you under the evil vaccines that they have cooked up to keep us mind controlled and controlled by their machines and their computers they don't care you don't care that we're hungry that you care that we take your vaccine. You are evil and we will resist you with everything in us. And God is going to be with us. God bless you.